This is Eric Forgette with NetApp, and in the next few minutes I'm going to share with you the unique combination of high availability and disaster recovery that MetroCluster provides when combined with VMware HA. MetroCluster is available on storage controllers from NetApp and the N-Series from IBM. VMware's ESX servers can be placed into groups called clusters. These clusters have the option of providing a high availability feature called VMware HA. VMware HA detects failures and provides rapid recovery for virtual machines running within the cluster. For example, if one of the ESX servers fails, the virtual machines are restarted on the surviving ESX servers in the cluster. Shared storage is a critical component of VMware virtual infrastructure. Because the array stores the virtual disks of many, if not all VMs, even a short disruption in this service can have wide-ranging effects as such, availability is a vital attribute to have on a storage system used in these environments. The ActiveActive -Active storage controller from NetApp and the N-Series from IBM provide five nines of availability. Again, this high level of availability is particularly important due to the increased impact that storage failures can have in a virtual environment. For this demonstration, we have differentiated the storage controllers in the HA pair by color. The storage controllers operate independently during normal operation, each having the ability to simultaneously serve Fiber Channel and iSCSI LUNs for VMFS-based data stores and raw device maps, as well as NFS for NAS-based data stores. In the event of a controller failure, in this case the dark gray controller, data services are transferred from the failed controller to the surviving controller. This happens without a disruption in service. In other words, regardless of what protocol is being used, a controller failover will not adversely affect the ESX servers or the VMs they are hosting. Sync Mirror provides additional resiliency by adding synchronous data protection at the RAID level. This protection is provided in addition to RAID DP, which already provides better protection than RAID 1 plus 0. Sync Mirror can be used to provide synchronous replication over distances of up to 60 miles. The ability to provide this level of protection is unique to storage controllers from NetApp and the N-Series from IBM. It allows for data services to continue without disruption, even in cases where more than half of the components have failed, as in this example. Also unique to NetApp storage controllers and IBM N-Series is the ability to extend this protection yet again by locating the storage controllers in separate data centers. These data centers can be on separate floors of the same building, different buildings on the same campus, or even located 60 miles apart. This protects against site failures that result from such things as human error, HVAC and power failures, building fire, and architectural failures. Quite simply, MetroCluster provides an integrated high availability and disaster recovery solution. The combination of MetroCluster and VMware HA provide an unmatched level of high availability. In this example, we have two physically separate sites labeled Site 1 and Site 2. A VMware HA enabled cluster has been configured with four ESX servers, two in each site. Under normal conditions, each ESX server supports two virtual machines. The Metro cluster has been configured so that under normal conditions, the light gray controller and disks support Site 1, while the dark gray controller and disks support Site 2. In the case that one or both ESX servers fail in Site 1, the virtual machines will be automatically restarted on the ESX servers in Site 2 by the VMware HA feature. On the storage side, we can introduce faults on multiple components and continue to serve data non-disruptively. In this example, the storage controller in Site 1 is taken down for maintenance, while in Site 2, a couple of disk shelves are accidentally unplugged. Even though these faults have been introduced, the Metro cluster continues to serve data without interruption, regardless of what protocols are being used to access the data stores. The virtual machines remain up and running despite the fact that half the storage controller is now out of service. Once the disk shelves are plugged back in, the data is automatically synchronized. Once the controller in Site 1 is back online, data services can be resumed on the light gray controller, again without disruption. In the case of a complete site disaster, in this case we've lost Site 1, a single command is issued on the storage controller in Site 2 to complete recovery. At this point, virtual machines can be recovered. 
Whether you need a simple cluster in your data center, a cluster that can span a campus, or a fully synchronous replication solution that can span an entire city, storage controllers from NetApp and IBM N-Series can provide a solution to protect the data within your virtual infrastructure. My name is Eric Forget. If you'd like more information on the technologies demonstrated in this video, please contact your NetApp or IBM sales team or one of our many excellent value-added resellers. Remember, virtualization changes everything.